Choosing Wheaton College wasn't uh, a very easy decision. I applied to, I think, seven different other schools, um, and Wheaton wasn't really on my radar, but I knew that I wanted a college experience that was gonna push me in a lot of different ways, musically, spiritually, personally, just kind of broadening who I was as a person, and I thought that Wheaton would be, you know, the right choice for me. I would definitely um, call Wheaton a high caliber music school, um, particularly because the music teachers that are here, they are extremely dedicated to their students. I remember in my audition, uh, it went more from an audition to a lesson, and my teacher was just very connected to who I was as a person and who I was as a musician, and I wasn't really even their student yet. And that was very appealing to me because I knew that in that moment that if I were to come here as a student, that that care would still be there. I would describe Wheaton as a, Wheaton's conservatory as a high caliber uh, institution because the, the professors and especially the individual teachers really push you as a um, instrumentalist or vocalist to really strive for bigger and better things in your field. Wheaton College has um, embraced music as an important tool and uh, a part of its obligation to students in teaching and performance opportunities. It includes professional study in music. Professional study meaning that these degrees equip students to go on to graduate school and to professional lives that include all manner of performance or music history, composition, a whole variety of areas. A typical day for a conservatory student, you have theory classes and oral skill classes, which kind of teach you the, the in and outs of music. And then I have my you know general education classes, my history class, my philosophy class. And then always in the afternoon, you go to your ensemble. So whether that be choir or orchestra, um, that is something that's included three times a week. For a liberal arts college, we have an outstanding music department. For example, we have a full symphony orchestra that's staffed by undergraduate students, and that's unusual for a school our size. We have three choirs, all of, all of whom have appeared on the national scene in the United States. The rigor of the institution, uh, it can be judged by the graduates who have left. And having had many, many decades of music graduates who've come and gone. It is quite remarkable when we think of some of the opera stars, uh, people who've made it internationally, who have uh, come out of Wheaton. A, a great advantage for us at Wheaton is that we are close to Chicago. Our students can get on the train a block from campus, get off the train a block from the Lyric Opera. Because it is such a big city, we have a lot of visiting artists that come from around the world that you get to see perform in different places around the city of Chicago. The most special part about this conservatory for me is the fact that it is a Christian community. Being surrounded by Christian brothers and sisters as my peers and also as my professors, it allows this experience to be much more than just about me and about my personal musical development and achievement. I've found people here that that I really connect to in every way, um, both you know having spiritual conversations, but also just connecting with I don't know really fun people that have the same sense of humor as me and um, same music taste. So I think it's just the things that I'll take away, and the reason I chose Wheaton is because of that community that I saw when I visited. It's a large music program for the size of this college, but it seems to me that if God had a college he really cared deeply about, it makes total sense that he would have a robust music program in the middle of it. You know, I thought coming into Wheaton that music was something that was separate from God unless you were doing strategic worship music, but Wheaton was very eye-opening and showing me that, you know, all music is an act of worship to God, all forms of art, everything that we do is a form of um, worship, and it was about trying to figure that out. 